Good morning. I am Frances Bosch, head of the Department of Hematology at the University Hospital Valdebron in Barcelona. The question that has been presented is what is the rationale behind the combination of glofitumab and polatuzumab in patients with relapsed refractory diffusal large B-cell lymphoma. Glofitumab is a new uh, T-cell engaging by a specific antibody, uh, anti-CD20 and anti-CD3. So it's uh, binding the CD3 T-cells to the, to the CD20 B-cells. On the other hand, um, polatuzumab is a targeted conjugated antibody, anti-CD79B. Uh, so we can combine both because uh, they are uh, targeting different uh, targets, anti-CD20 and anti-CD79B. Both drugs have shown uh, an interesting activity in alone in the diffuse large B cell lymphoma that are relapsed or refractory. So there is a possibility of combining both in the setting in, in the diffuse uh, in the refractory diffuse large B cell lymphoma. So uh, at, at the last stash uh, in Atlanta, uh, there was a presentation showing the activity of this combination in a phase uh, one, two trial, combining glofitumab and uh, polatuzumab in uh, diffuse larvae cell lymphoma, actually in 44 patients that are usually high-grade lymphomas or transformed follicular lymphomas. The combination show a very interesting activity with an overall response rate superior to 70% and a complete response rate of 51%. So a very, very active combination, non-chemo combination in this setting. On the other hand, the toxicity has been very mild, just a few cases of grade one, two neurotoxicity, and some hematological toxicity. Therefore, we have here a combination of two monoclonal antibodies targeting different, different targets and uh, for patients with relapsed refractory diffuse large cell lymphoma, patients that were heavily pretreated and showing a fantastic uh, activity and a very mild uh, manageable toxicity. I think or I believe that this combination is going to move uh, to early lines uh, because here we have the possibility to treat uh, patients not using chemo standard chemotherapy. Uh, instead, we are using here uh, two new target therapies for, for diffuse larvae cell lymphoma, therefore uh, showing this uh, more precise uh, molecular target therapies for those patients. So thank you.